What happens when you file for bankruptcy? We all know life is unpredictable, and that's pretty much the case for our finances, too. We never know what would happen with our financial condition, specifically if we didn't care much and did not plan things. So, if you are facing severe financial conditions and your debts have become uncontrollable, then you may be thinking about filing for bankruptcy. Well, filing for bankruptcy is generally a last resort option if anyone is suffering financial hardship. However, it can be the only way out for them, although it can have some negative consequences that you should consider before you make any decision. To give an idea, if you file for bankruptcy, it can affect your possessions and can remain on your credit report for up to 7 or 10 years according to the type of bankruptcy. This can even create more problems like obtaining a credit card, mortgage, or car loan in the future. This can also result in higher insurance rates and badly affect your ability to rent an apartment or get a job. So, by keeping these consequences in mind, it is crucial to understand what happens when you file for bankruptcy. In this video, we will discuss some common questions about bankruptcy and discuss what you should know before you decide. Also, we will explain some of the alternatives that can help you avoid filing for bankruptcy. So, keep watching until the end so you don't miss any insights from the video. But, before you learn about what happens when you file for bankruptcy, pay attention to the big red subscription button. As soon as you click it, you will be taken to the wealthy side, the life you deserve, where you'll find hundreds of videos. These videos contain the answers to almost any question you may have. There are also daily updates, so if you want to stay tuned, remember to turn on notifications. First off, let's talk about what exactly bankruptcy is. Well, it is a legal proceeding that involves a business or a person who is not able to pay back their outstanding debts. This process initiates with a petition which is filed by the debtor, which is more often, or it can be filed on the behalf of creditors, which is not very common. It allows people or businesses to get freedom from their debts, but also provides creditors a chance to pay them back. Mainly, bankruptcy is managed by the federal courts, and its rules are outlined in the Bankruptcy Code of the United States. Moreover, there are several types of bankruptcies that are referred to in the chapter according to the U.S. Bankruptcy Code. Now, let's discuss what happens when you declare bankruptcy. If you are facing bad financial conditions, bankruptcy provides you a chance to pay off some of your debts with time or eliminate some of them. Regardless of that, declaring bankruptcy grants which are known as automatic stays essentially restrict creditors from trying to collect by putting a block on your debt. In addition to that, they will not be able to deduct money from your bank account, go after any of your assets, or garnish your wages. So, when you declare bankruptcy, primarily, you get time to work with your creditors and the court to determine the next steps. Another common question that people ask about the consequences of filing bankruptcy is whether they will lose their property or not. Well, that depends on the type of bankruptcy you declare, whether it's Chapter 7 bankruptcy or Chapter 13. Chapter 7 bankruptcy is also called liquidation bankruptcy. In this, you will have to sell a portion of your assets to pay back a part of what you owe. However, certain assets are exempt from liquidation under state law, including homes, vehicles, and retirement accounts. Here, you'll have to take the assistance of a bankruptcy attorney according to your state to find what properties you can keep. On the other hand, in Chapter 13 type of bankruptcy, you don't have to worry about selling your assets or property to satisfy some of your debts. Because of this, your debts will be organized in a new manner so that you can pay them easily in full or in the period of the next 3 to 5 years. But make sure that if you are not able to comply with the decided payment plan, your creditor can be able to go after your assets to pay a portion of your debts. These are some of the things that you should consider before you file for bankruptcy. The next common question that is very important is how bankruptcy affects your credit or does it have any drawbacks? As mentioned earlier, when you file for bankruptcy, it indicates that you are no longer able to pay your debts as they decided originally, and that can have a serious impact on your credit history. But with the two types of bankruptcy, this might not be the case, because Chapter 7 bankruptcy entirely eradicates the debts you include when you declare it. However, it can stay on your credit report for up to 10 years. Enjoying till now? Please hit the subscribe button now, like, share, and comment. And yes, 
keep watching. Well, Bankruptcy Chapter 13 is also not suitable if you see it from the credit standpoint, as its setup is viewed in a more likely way in which you still have to pay back some of your debts, and it is going to remain on the credit report for up to seven years. Even when your bankruptcy is discharged by the court, it means you do not owe any debts further. It will be difficult for you to get approved for several things like credit, car, or rent, specifically with simple terms. But some lenders work with people who faced bankruptcy or other tough credit events, so you have some options available as well. Besides this, the credit scoring models favor new information over the previous. If you adopt positive credit habits after the bankruptcy, you can recover your credit score from time to time while having it on your credit report. Another thing that is very common and most people fear about is whether their bankruptcy filings will be public or not. Although these are considered public records, it doesn't mean that they will go public and everyone knows about them. However, these proceedings of bankruptcies are filed in a system which is known as PACER, or Public Access to Court Electronic Records. Mainly, it is common among creditors or attorneys to use it to go through the information about a specific bankruptcy filing. The charge to access the information, in any case, is 10 cents per page. However, it is important to remember here that anyone can register and check this information if they want to. The second way other people can know about your bankruptcy is through the local newspaper which publishes the public notices in it. And eventually, landlords, creditors, and employers can see it on your credit report when you apply for a new loan or credit card, apply for a job, or take an apartment on the lease. Now, the question arises, does it have any effect on your next job or upcoming employment? Well, according to a survey conducted by CareerBuilder, about 29% of employers do a credit check on new employees. Consequently, if you file for bankruptcy, there are chances that it can affect your ability to get new employment, specifically if the job is in a government sector job or the financial sector. The purpose of this is to assure that they are finding a good fit for their company by making sure that you are not financially stressed, which can potentially increase the risk of fraud or theft in the case of bankruptcy. However, in case the employer just runs a routine check for criminal background, your bankruptcy will not be exposed in that scenario. Also, there are fewer chances that your current employers run a background check, so you don't have to worry about it if you are not planning to switch jobs. By keeping all these factors in mind while you declare bankruptcy, you must keep track of your credit throughout the process. As you know, when you file for bankruptcy, it can drastically impact your credit history and your capability to do specific things in the future. So, it becomes really important that you monitor your credit scores throughout its process and when you work on getting out of this ordeal. When you do this, see how things or which factors are making an impact on your credit scores and find the potential errors and the negative things that can affect your overall score badly. And while doing this, if there is anything irrelevant that doesn't belong to you, immediately report and dispute it with your credit reporting agencies. By keeping track of your credit score throughout and after the bankruptcy, you will learn more things and get better with time to keep it in a good position while you move forward. So now you understand what would happen if you declared bankruptcy. Let's discuss what are the alternatives or what you should do before you file or before you make any decision. As bankruptcy is considered the only option for people to get out of the load of debt who seem to have no way of paying their bills, well, several alternatives are worth considering before you declare bankruptcy. Not only are they worth it, but they are also inexpensive, and they will do less damage to your credit record as well. For instance, you can check whether your creditors are willing to negotiate instead of waiting for settlement with bankruptcy filing and with the potential risk that comes with it. There are chances that some creditors will agree to negotiate and approve the reduced payments request for the long term. And in the case of the home mortgage, you can consult your loan provider to check what options you have. Because some of the lenders provide forbearance, which is a temporary postponement of dues over a longer period. Or you can also get a repayment plan, which is based on smaller payments extended for a long time. Also, there are chances that you can get a loan modification program, which is very likely to reduce the interest rate on the remaining loan. Another alternative that you can avail of is by working with a credit counseling agency. So, you can consult with a counseling agency that will negotiate on your behalf with your creditors. There are nonprofit credit or debt counseling agencies in all of the states who will work with you and help you reduce the debt burden. 
By taking the help from these services, these credit counseling agencies create a bond between you and the creditors, which can be effective in negotiating and making an easy and realistic plan for repayment. Did you enjoy the video? Please hit the subscribe button, like, share, and comment.